I just love using large vocabulary with people who have no idea what I'm talking about, XD. Average sentence. Hey, do you have anything to do with my stolen phone? It's gone missing. Meanwhile, my ascended sentence. Why, hello there. Do you have any affiliation with the cathartic abduction of my contacting device? It has gone prohibitively vacuous. Well, the first sentence is actually trying to communicate something, which is way better than your just showing off vocabulary words. Hello, Redditors of the Internet. Noble Z9 here, and welcome to r slash I am very smart part one, two, Four. Let's get started. So, we may have just found the most humble user on Quora. What are some examples of multi-talented people? Most people would respond with examples of people who are good at very many things. But this individual decides to reply with, Why me, of course? But first one thing, I am doing this from a pretty small age. So achieving them all at once, it's pretty impossible or hard. Everything I do, I do it with perfection, not just superficially. So try not to be the jack of all trades, but the master of none. But instead, gain perfection in one talent, and while finding it, more go into other if you like. Can play nearly expert level piano. Program in Python and JavaScript. Witten a novel not published and turning it into a saga. Is it any good? Speaks three languages. Can do professional level yoga. Make great pencil sketches. Great ranks in academic and co-scholastic activities like top three. Age 17. Apart from finding my present skills, I want to learn flips, C++ programming, and more better academic. I will post proof in a few days. How do I do it? By not wasting my time on useless things like excessive online gaming. But I play video games, have a collection of like one and a half lakh rupees games. PC plus PS4, sorry Xbox, I just can't bear to waste my time. Whenever I'm free, I just want to do something productive. That's why I have no real friends for now, good ones but not real ones. Hope all my abilities will get me into top colleges of the world where I could make some. I also hope you learn a little bit of humility along the way. Otherwise, life will humble you and you'll have to learn it the hard way. And for this next one, people really have the audacity to critique parkour without ever trying it themselves? Someone posts a parkour video, OMG this is insane with the shocked face emoji. I find that a little unnecessary, just let the video speak for itself. No really, even with the slightest acceleration he would have landed there. F equals M times A, which I believe is force equals mass times acceleration. Both vectors are in this favor, creating a significant force. Sorry, I just couldn't resist the urge of seeing people giving credit to stuff that isn't actually that dangerous. And now we go to the YouTube comments section for this next one. Thank you for animating the thoughts that go through my head on an almost daily basis. Also, reassuring some things I already have a grasp on understanding. Appreciate what you do, Cosmo. Always, always enjoy. Hey, at least this one can appreciate a creator, so. And now we have a response to the question, what was an unexpected movie plot twist? Hmm. Most of the comments say the sixth sense, but even as a child, I was able to figure it out before the movie was even over. I'm overly analytical and watch films for sport, in quotes and tend to ruin most films for myself. Nothing is really new or shocking to me anymore. I don't even go to the theater anymore because everything is a remake now. Laughing emoji. I just watch documentaries that educate me and allow me to see things from a new perspective. Yeah, I mean, I guess there are too many remakes out there nowadays, but you're just overanalyzing everything and ruining things for yourself. Kind of sad if you think about it that way. This next one is titled, Typical Rhetorical Patterns. You're a pest, expendable in every facet of the word. You can't step to me or contend with me in any way when it comes to the art of argumentation. Your worthless projection is something to scoff at. Being spoken to by me is the most importance you'll ever have. You're another insect under my boot. To answer your question, I am God if you weren't a troglodyte mouth breather, you would have been able to comprehend to that. As my omnipotence is self-evident and absolute in nature, let me digress. 
I'm sure my typical rhetorical patterns would fly over the head of an average ant like yourself. Don't step to me again, you pest. Your thoughts can't reach someone like me, someone above you. I won't be replying again as it's quite shameful that I even humor you. This has to be some kind of troll pretending to be a god among men. All bow down to me as I have found some copy pasta. And now a LinkedIn linguist doesn't understand variant spellings. Again, because I've seen a number of posts again today, if you do want to write about the so-called imposter syndrome, please make sure to spell the word correctly. If you're referring to people who spell imposter with ER at the end, that's also correct. Frankly speaking, those types of posts are soporific. You people keep going around in circles and talking about the same things, imagined things, again and again and again. But if you do have to post such garbage, at least make sure you get your spelling right, especially if you're a writer or a translator, because if I see one of your posts, and I see you cannot spell a simple word like that, you will be blacklisted instantly and automatically, and of course I will not consider you a professional writer or translator. Even worse, in this case you cannot blame your incompetence on the difference between English and American English because imposter is the correct spelling in both with O-R. Remember, if you claim to be in a language profession as a translator, teacher, or writer, the first thing you must know is the language or languages you work with. You claim to be so smart and know how to spell everything, but don't know that imposter can be spelled with both O-R and E-R at the end. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? No, this next one is the most humble Quora user. As a high IQ individual who has programmed and taught programming, I say that I cannot think of any other activity that stretches my cognitive ability more. That is especially true when it comes to creative problem solving rather than bog standard coding. You could have just said as a programmer, but of course you had to throw that IQ in there. Let's go back to the YouTube comment section for this next one. I don't understand why people are like this. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Mmm, turns out I'm in the wrong room. The whole Earth is the wrong room. For this next one, I hope this doesn't count as a background color Facebook status. People who stimulate an optimism never encompass abomination inside them will dismantle all truculence for me to whom they emancipate their submission by establishing something sympathetic when I must obstruct my pessimism. What? This is the very definition of word salad. Using big words just for the sake of it. And what's up with that background? The laughing emojis. <laughs> And for this next one, watch out guys, he has the armor of ages. It is a responsibility, and I'll not be nice if it risks my life. I see you've attempted to turn words into weapons, but you fail to realize that I possess decades of armor. There is no need to reply, I'll not continue a pugnacious discussion. By the way, this was on a conversation about whether you should or shouldn't tell the wife of a man he cheated on her with you. What the purpose of such a response is on this type of question, I don't know. The minds of intellectuals are such mysteries. This next one is all in one single thread. If we didn't have 75% compulsory attendance, I would definitely skip many classes and still score. When I was getting my MS degree, I sat next to a guy who would sleep through most of the class. A few times, he would wake up and raise his hand to point out mistakes in the professor's math. Hmm, definitely a guy who was just taking the class for the credit and didn't need the tutorial. And the intellectual replies, Sounds like how I was throughout school. Slept all week long in class and took exams on Friday and was the only one with a perfect score. Most of my teachers hated me because of it, but they were dumb and I wasn't. I was like this in my IT subject. I knew 100 times more than the teachers. I knew things the teachers didn't know existed. The teachers acknowledged this, though. Whenever a problem arise that can't be fixed by them, they would call me. I was a star. Those were really great times, and I took it for granted. Oh, I can see this person's IT knowledge from here. My physics teacher used to bring a different set of hard questions for me as I used to sleep in his class but score the highest. 
He used to ask me those questions so that I don't sleep and I was happy for it, seeing the current situation of teachers. And now love scrolling YouTube comments for gems like this one. The funny thing about the whole thing is, if you dig a little deeper into Tate's philosophy, embracing social inheritance, and raising these issues with family and friends, everyone begins to listen to you with surgical precision. Please don't tell me you're talking about Andrew Tate. What do you mean? I'm very sorry for the delayed response. It is the philosophy itself paired with a precise rhetoric of language and the forgotten worldview that Tate represents every day. If you take his advice to heart, internalize it, and also adapt the direct pronunciation and the language rhetoric, you come across as an extraterrestrial to other people who have become accustomed to the new, modern, and simplified worldview and way of life. That's the worst friggin' word salad I've ever seen. In that case, you might want to read some books to broaden your horizons a bit. We're not Boy Scouts here. Which books should I read, oh prophet? I just want to know how do you listen with surgical precision? For this next one, I can't imagine how unpleasant it would be to work with him. I consistently fail to calibrate my expectations for the people who work under me to their limited intellect. They are easily confused by simple things, and struggle with things I find trivially easy. It's very hard to think down to their level. Sounds like you're the one struggling to understand them, yet you think everyone else is the problem. This next one sounds a bit harsh, doesn't it? On a video called, Pick One Person in the World to Meet Aliens. Or I guess it's just the thumbnail, there could be more to the video. While humor is subjective, this man is diagnosably an idiot. The way he presents himself and speaks just screams moronic stoner dropout. I very much doubt this man-child even completed high school, and this is not a harsh assessment. It is a simple and accurate one. Nothing but nonsensical drivel ever spews from this man's mouth. I very much doubt he has had a single intelligent thought in his entire career. The guy is an absolute moron. What if I were to call your comment nonsensical drivel, huh? And now, why would this even need to be said? Top guy didn't even say anything wrong. Now that's an appreciation post I like. But of course the intellectual just had to reply, you would, as such opinipins are indicative of your obvious and overwhelming lack of intelligence and brain power. What? This has got to be a troll. There's no way this dude just comes in and says these things. This is just coming in out of nowhere. For this next one, you know, you're eating molecules and stuff. I have recurring nightmares about finding human meat at the grocery store. I don't get this. From a scientific point of view, it's not much different than pork. You know you're eating molecules and stuff. But then I'm super smart, so yeah, no worries, I understand. Wow. Literally said the thing. For this next one, damn, that's just extreme. I am a genius. I don't care what everyone says. As long as I can remember, everyone has been stupid. School was boring. Talking to people was boring. They would say any kind of BS speaking the worst Italian you'll ever hear. Teachers hated me because they knew I was better than them. At the age of 13, I got mad and yelled at my teacher how stupid she was. My parents never believed in me. They would say that I'm arrogant, just a worthless idiot who thinks he's better than the others. They took to the hospital, not exactly a hospital, to take a test so they could prove me wrong. They failed. Not only was I a genius in practice, it was also written and certified. Still, they won't accept it. They say it's just bullshit and I need to be humble. I didn't. The head teacher called me and lectured me about respect. Why would I respect dumb people? I understand some people just aren't as smart as me, but they think they're so cool and strong for being stupid or don't accept my superiority. I won't respect someone who's like that. I am a genius. I always have been. Y'all are stupid. And I am better. I don't care. Oh man, this kid has some issues. Just thinking they're smarter than everyone else. To the point where they feel the need to make a post like this. Which honestly sounds like a 
it could be turned into a copy pasta. This next one is on a magician performance video. Hey, well, at least he's slash she's not like you people that don't want to hear the real reason and that you don't like proof and I'm not like that, but you are people and people never can do real magic because there's no proof. And I think you don't understand what proof is. It's this that I'll type that I think it's evidence or argument establishing or helping establish a fact or truth of statement. That was one very, very long sentence. So I guess that you don't like truths or facts. That's wrong because that's what life relies on. And I guess if there's no truth, then there's no word. World. So I guess you don't like life? What did I just read? I'm confused, perplexed, and just baffled. For this next one, despite being a genius, even he is lacking compared to Elon Musk's 165 plus IQ. You know, the way you know when someone is wrong when they can't hold multiple ideas in their head that usually partially contradicts a political position. People have no sense of nuance. Trump, 100% evil and incompetent. Billionaires, 100% evil, lucky, and stupid. It makes people so much angrier when I take a position of nuance. If I had to guess with Bezos, he's probably around 140 to 150 IQ. Like in the lower echelon of genius. But a great and clear communicator, a visionary, and extremely logical. Couldn't really get past quantum mechanics, so likely not above 160. But you don't just go to Princeton and study physics, though he eventually ended up graduating with electrical engineering and computer science degrees instead. If you are mediocre, I'm regularly called a genius by co-workers who mean it, but even I know I'm seriously lacking one compared to a Bezos or a Musk. If I had to guess billionaire intelligence by rank from lowest to highest, I'd probably guess something like 1. Warren Buffett, 110 to 120. 2. Bill Gates, 130 to 140. 3. Mark Zuckerberg, 150. 4. Jeff Bezos, 145 to 155. And 5. Elon Musk with an ascended IQ of over 165! What about your IQ, so-called intellectual? And your billions? Where are they? For this next one, I know all of the words. I even have an app. Trust me, I know most words in English's etymology. I even have the etymology app installed. The computer field had surprisingly had more native Germanic words rather than taking from Romance languages in Greek. Just having an app installed just completely takes this person's IQ to a whole new level. Whoa! For this next one, apparently someone's still stupid. Send me anonymous questions. What's the stupidest thing you thought as a kid? I was not a stupid kid. In fact, I was the smartest kid on Earth. And I continue to be smart to this day. Or maybe that was their stupidest thought, that they didn't think they were stupid. For this next one, he has to realize, right? I am an unrecognized genius who dreams of unrivaled success. Most geniuses are recognized for their minds and the powers to which they utilize them for, for great unprecedented things beyond the sight of any homeowner of the aisle. I will be one of the few who change the very course of history, because I am writing a book which will change all of literature and history in its entirety. Dude, if you think it's so good, just let the book speak for itself. Every soul on earth will have deep admiration for me. They will see me in the street and confuse me for a golden statue, and they will want me to sign copies of my work, countless copies in every respectable hard-working establishment. And they will make documentaries about me for years to come. They will never stop talking about me because I have seized all of time, their entire existence. I am the pivot in the sun. Everything will be mine. They think I'm mad, that I sound mad, and I don't expect you simple beings, simple beings I have heard, to understand my ambitions because you could never possibly achieve it or don't have the willpower or the strength of mind to do so. Can you please keep your grandiose fantasies to yourself? This is just ridiculous. For this next one, that's some quick reading. The Red Moby Dick at Six story is one of my favorite to tell about my late mother. 
I came home from school library day with a couple of Berenstain spelling. It's a huge mystery to this day, bear books. She knew I could read six or seven of those in the ten minutes of the bookstore she'd take grabbing a new trash romance book she read for fun. So she asked why I picked them when I usually read more advanced books. Little six-year-old me said, I wanted to get Moby Dick, but they wouldn't let me because it isn't in my grade section. Yeah, our library was sectioned by grade level. So pathetic, because my brain is beyond the mere concept of grade levels. I'll be honest, I had a college level vocabulary by the age of nine, read Moby Dick for the first time at six, wrote a book report at seven that had the principal calling my mom because they didn't believe I could have written it myself. I've now spent 42 years upon this earth. I still get confused about using the apostrophe in its slash it apostrophe s. For this next one, sit down, guys. We have a Minecraft veteran over here. We have an experienced warrior who fought in the trenches and the caves. Don't act like you didn't mix up the sticks and the string first time around. I'm guessing this is the backwards recipe for the bow. I messed it up like 10 times in a row. But watch out, the Minecraft veteran replies. Who the hell is dumb enough to do that? LAMO, I saw a YouTuber do it once and laughed my ass off the rest of the day. It's a simple mistake and I see how it can be confused. But clearly the hardened Minecraft veteran says otherwise. And for this next one, just let people be entertained, dog. MCU fans freaking out over runtimes of their favorite films is hilarious. If they ever grow any semblance of knowledge of actual cinema, I can't wait for them to experience, say, Lawrence of Arabia, or Once Upon a Time in America or something. We go to Facebook for this next one. Don't ever try to mess with Jordan Peterson even though I did correct them once before. So you did mess with him, huh? Just cause you know something doesn't mean you'll be able to figure out what to do about it. You can do a million different good things for a million different people and the only thing they will remember is the one thing you didn't do for them. I've come to the conclusion that most people in this world are literally just so plain stupid and ignorant with no ethical or moral structure of hierarchical value that I can't even be mad at their complete, incompetent, futile existence but rather feel sorry for them since they don't know any better and will never change. I'm completely dumbfounded and mystified on how completely idiotic most people are. Most live life in an illusion from some stupid, naive perception they've made up of the world and how things are and should be when it could be infinitely otherwise. I wish I could just slap the stupidness right out of the heads of people, but I have to remember to control myself since they are confused, mixed up, and misled. Oh, so intelligent that they believe that most people need to be slapped out of their stupidity. And for this last one, Guy's gonna make atoms disappear or move them or whatever. Instead of making the atoms split, what if I would figure out how to make them disappear? I believe that if you bounce the electrons, the atoms won't be affected. This is my first theory. If you figure out how to bounce the atom from one way to another instead of splitting it, you can essentially transfer matter. Imagine being able to transfer matter from one area to another. I do not think you can figure this out, but I might be able to. Well, guess what? I can transport matter with my bare hands. Mind blowing. And Salt Fennel says someone needs to stop him. He doesn't realize that bouncing the electrons causes the protons to destabilize, which would cause the entire universe to collapse like a giant prolapse. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Amethyst Phoenix, Crangis McBasketball, DJ, Duck2, The Return of Duck, Fake Corvus, Jay Demby, Catalan Cormendi, Nightcrawler, Spoonie the Rogue, and Vic Meister 1999. You can join in the link below and thank you so much for watching. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like, comment if you have something interesting to say, or subscribe if you want to see more.